Google Sheets makes it super easy to share documents with anyone, so collaborating with coworkers on spreadsheets is a snap. The ease that comes with it, however, also makes it easy for a user to change critical formulas the spreadsheet relies on, whether intentionally or otherwise. On the bright side, Google Sheets gives you a lot of control over permissions for users. Locking formula cells is a good way to protect your formula from unauthorized changes, ensuring that none of your spreadsheet collaborators can edit its functions. Unlike Excel, Google Sheets' formula protection does not require a password, so you won't have to unlock cell protection to edit your own spreadsheets. Although Google Sheets doesn't have as many locking configurations as Excel, for most users, locking formulas is more than sufficient. If you want to give users the ability to view but not modify a sheet, locking a full sheet is an excellent way to do it. To start, open the spreadsheet you want to lock and click on the downward pointing arrow in the Sheet tab next to the name of the sheet at the bottom left of the spreadsheet, then select Protect Sheet. Doing this opens the Protected Sheets and Ranges dialog box. This can also be done by selecting Protect Sheet from the Tools pull-down menu. In the Protected Sheets and Ranges dialog box, press the Set Permissions button, click the Restrict Who Can Edit This Range button, then select Only You from the drop-down menu. Pressing Done locks the spreadsheet. You can also lock a single selected cell range. To do this, head back to the Protected Sheets and Ranges dialog box, select the Range tab, then click on the Select Data Range option. You can then left-click the mouse and drag the cursor over the formula cells you need to lock. Finally, click on OK, then select Set Permissions. Now, you may want to permit certain users to edit cells. Doing this is easy, just go to the Tools pull-down menu, select Protect Sheet, and click on Set Permissions. From here, select Custom from Restrict Who Can Edit This Range, and enter the email addresses of your fellow collaborators within the Add Editors dialog box. Press Done to save your changes. You can also have the option to copy permissions from another range on the Restrict Who Can Edit This Range drop-down menu, providing you with a handy shortcut from entering the same permissions in multiple cell ranges. The Copy Permissions from Another Range option lets you copy the same permission from another protected range already included in your spreadsheet. Another editing permission option you can enable is the Show a Warning When Editing This Range. This setting applies a notification to the selected cell range that states you're trying to edit part of this sheet that shouldn't be changed accidentally. Notifying other spreadsheet users when they try to edit one of the protected cells. This is useful when you'd rather not lock cells entirely, since it warns users to be careful when editing while still giving them permission to edit. Some cells can also be excluded from being locked. A great tool if you want users to be able to enter data in a few cells, but not change anything else in the sheet. To do this, lock the entire sheet but select the Accept Certain Cells option, and select a cell range to keep unlocked. You can also add as many ranges as you want by selecting Add Another Range. If you need to unlock a cell, both the sidebar and the Protected Sheets and Ranges dialog box shows you all of the protected cell ranges. Unlocking cells only requires selecting a cell range listed there, clicking the Delete Range or Sheet Protection option, then pressing Remove. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Google Sheets and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.